Hi guys, it's Anne here with The Mom Edit, and today we are talking spring jackets. So I have three spring jackets to share with you guys. I've styled them up with an outfit that I would wear, but I really searched around. Like I looked at a lot of sites, guys. I looked at a lot of sites and I just happened to really like the ones that I found on J.Crew. So all three of these are from J.Crew. The very first one that I am starting with is a cropped barn jacket. I really like the style of the barn jacket in general. It's very like utilitarian kind of a little bit menswear-ish. Um, and I think that most commonly you see it either in sort of a coastal grandma chic look, like imagining you're living, I don't know, on a farm in Vermont and you need to go muck out the barn in style or as kind of a luxe Western look. But here I tried to do something just a little bit different, a little bit more me. So I styled this with my favorite Good American Fit for Success jumpsuit, which is kind of like a black denim flight suit type of thing. I love this. It fits every curve. If it's super, super well, I've seen it on a lot of different sizes and body types, and I honestly think it looks good on everybody. Because it's still chilly, I layered it over just like a basic gray tee. For a pop of color, I used uh, just a thrifted scarf that I have that's like a navy and red polka dot. So the actual barn jacket, I bought a size too large. <laughs> like this is clearly too big for me. I should have gotten a medium. I do like it overall, but there are a couple of things to note. So one, I found the sleeves quite large and voluminous and a little bit too long. I'm wondering if sizing down will fix that or if it's still gonna feel a little bit big on me. I do really like the fabric detail at the collar. It's kind of like a brown corduroy material. The rest of it is, I don't know, a moss green with gold hardware. The pockets are large and functional. You know, ladies, we've been asking for pockets. We have pockets here. And there is um, a drawstring cord around the waist so that you can tighten it up if you like. And I don't think it's actually that common to find a cropped barn jacket style. So I was really excited to see this because on my frame, on my body type, I like for things to hit me around the waist because I find that's the most flattering for me. Uh, this one is also not listed to be waterproof, but I think it is because if you could feel it, it's actually quite like a stiff cotton material. The next one I got, I was so excited about when I saw the color. So here's the thing. I'm not really that into the spring color palette just for me personally. I'm not really a pastels girly. As you can see, I'm wearing like my favorite color scheme here, which is black and white and bright red. There's a little bit of something out there for everyone in spring, but Sometimes it can be hard for me to find things that I'm like really excited about color wise because there is a lot of like pale yellow, pale blue, pale green, pale pinks, lavender, stuff like that. So I was really excited to see this because I think this is like the happiest color on earth. It's just like the color of a sunny sky. So this like really made me excited. Um, it actually comes in four different colors. So if you don't like this blue, there's, I believe a really pale yellow, which almost looks cream, a black, and I think it's a green is the fourth one. So I really like this because it was bright and it inspired me to put together a very playful outfit. So I took my Abercrombie cream colored cargo jeans and I put my La Linea collab with Target striped colorful sweater on over that. With this over top, I just feel like, I don't know, it's giving me fun vibes. It's giving me colorful spring, playful, good times. Functionally, I think this is a really nice jacket. It is also one one size too large for me, unfortunately. I need to exchange it for a size medium. It's just overall too big. It is really nice. There's like a vented style on the back for rain runoff and there's a hood for rain runoff again. There's a drawstring here at the, at the waist, but there's not one at the bottom. So just be aware of that. I also would note the pockets were like a little bit surprising and funky. They're not that easy to get your like hands into. They're like kind of weirdly angled with the flap over the top. I don't know. I feel like this was not actually meant to have your hands in the pockets, uh, but that's fine. I still think it's a beautiful lightweight jacket and very functional if you live anywhere where there's gonna be rain or perhaps a scotch of snow like there will be in Colorado in March and April. The final coat, ta-da, the classic J. Crew Icon Trench. So this is a really beautiful classic trench coat. I actually didn't have one before I picked this up. I had a like a very drapey burgundy trench that I think is very like autumn-y, um, but I didn't have one that was just like a classic tan khaki color. Um, this one is really gorgeous. Laura has an article on the site comparing a bunch of trench coats and I think this ended up being maybe her favorite. So 
This is like a midi length. It hits me, um, I would say, yeah, mid calf probably. There is a hood. Fortunately, it is detachable. I don't actually love the look of the hood unless it's going to actually be raining out and you functionally need it. I really like the belt. The belt is sort of like a wide belt. That's kind of a statement if you decide to like wrap it up. Again, there's like a vent in the back and this is waterproof. So this is absolutely appropriate for uh, rainwear. The only thing I will say about this as someone who is kind of an hourglass shape with a smaller waist and a bigger booty, uh, it is hard to find coats that fit me both in the shoulders and around the thigh butt area. And this one was no exception. So this is a size 12. I wear a 14 or a size 32 in jeans on bottom typically. And then as you can see, like a medium, medium large on top. And so I have J. Crew blazers in 10s and 12s but I would probably need to size up to a 14 in this trench coat to make it really comfortable because it's just a little bit snug in the butt area if I want to fully close the buttons and tie around the waist. Kind of some sizing challenges with these three, but overall I think they're really beautiful and all three of them would work as spring lightweight jacket. I hope I've inspired you a little bit with my styling of these three. Please look, give us a like, a comment, subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.